Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault Jersey. Joe Archino back here, and we are on the cusp of El Clasico Part 2. Real Madrid is set to travel to Camp Nou tomorrow to play in the biggest game imaginable. And it really is one of those things, El Clasico, where you always ask, how do you describe it? And I think the only way is to describe it is to watch it, because it is really the indescribable. Outside of maybe the Super Bowl and the UEFA Champions League final, I don't think that there's another sporting event in the world that really brings the amount of excitement and noise. And just, you look around the Camp Nou, there'll be, it, it will be a, a sight that cannot be missed, as it always is. And if you're not even a soccer fan, I highly recommend that you just watch it for 10 minutes. You won't be able to turn the game off because the noise, the excitement, the intensity of the game is really unparalleled to anything else. But, of course, Real Madrid is in a little bit of a tough spot as of the moment. And Barcelona, we've known it for a long time. They've ran away with this La Liga crown so far this year. They've held that first spot. Really, it's never wavered their holding of the tight of the top position. Even when Messi was injured, they really never faltered. And you can see that based on their unbeaten streak of 39 matches. And they thrashed Real Madrid 4-0 at the, at the Bernabeu just months ago. And that really put an explanation mark on what has been a disappointing Real Madrid season. I think there are so many variables that go into the game here trying to predict. You have the death of Yo Yo Johan Cruyff, which makes it so much of a more game with more intensity because that is a legend. That is a guy who made so much. Barcelona wouldn't be what it is today without him. So you know they're going to have tributes. It's going to be even more emotional than it already is. And there's also the fact that Barcelona has a 10-point lead over Real Madrid for that top spot. And Gareth Bale has had positivity this week saying, if we can win this game and we can get it to seven points, we've got a chance. But there's no logical person who believes that there's any way that Real Madrid can climb back and overthrow Barcelona. Because Barcelona doesn't lose matches. It just 39 unbeaten is incredible. And it's such a testament to what they have built there. and The treble is in sight once again this season. I think all reasonable people believe that they will win the treble again because they have not shown a vulnerability. Vulnerability is easy to see when you're missing your best player. But even when they miss their best player, they didn't falter for a second. Neymar led La Liga in goals scored when Messi was out. And Luis Suarez has probably been the best player in world football this season. There are so many variables at play here that look in favor of Barcelona. But I think more than anything, it's the coaching difference. We saw in the biggest match that Zidane Zidane is coached as the manager of Real Madrid was against Atletico Madrid. And he was outcoached by Diego Simeone in that match. There's no debate about it. Now you got Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique is such a, a, a an important figure and I think sometimes doesn't get enough credit that he deserves because everybody says it's easy with the players that he has, but you've got to remember the struggles Barcelona had to start the season last year. There were a lot of people who thought by Christmas time he would be out of there, but he made the adjustments. I think... That's the sign of someone who's very self-aware. He knew that his style wasn't working to begin with. So I think he put more of the power in the players' hands. He let them just go out there and play. And you look what happened. They won the treble. And they're now in a position to win the treble again. He's already really done and matched the excellence of what Pep Guardiola did there. And that's easier said than done. But I think Luis Enrique puts the massive coaching favor in Barcelona's uh, corner. And as it is this match, I think everyone reasonably believes it's Barcelona. It, Barcelona, the year, the, the world football year has been marked by them, putting their stamp on everything. I mean, winning the World Club Cup, winning everything there is with everything still in sight, having a 10-point league in La Liga right now. I mean, every time... They've had to answer the call against one of these top clubs. They've done it, and they've done it as they always do brilliantly. And I think the one thing that this is always an incredible game, this is always a competitive game, there's players that other clubs drool over on both sides, but if you have to compare 
the two things that set them apart. It's the core three. It's the core three attackers of the trident for Barcelona, Neymar, Suarez, and Messi, against Real Madrid's trident of Ronaldo, Benzema, and Bale. Now, Bale, of course, has had his massive injury problems this season. Same thing with Benzema and then some other legal issues. Ronaldo, for the most part, has been the one upright, but he had a, a struggle out of the gate and has did find himself more after that, but... It's one of those things where when you compare the three of them, the thing that sets the Barca trio apart is their unselfishness. Neymar and Suarez are completely happy if they're not scoring, but as long as they're winning. And it's the same thing with Messi. The three of them understand that they're going to get more opportunities by passing up better opportunities at times. They will set each other up. They will set teammates up. They will do the right play, make the right decision at all times. And that's not what always is the case with Real Madrid. They all want the glory. Ronaldo wants the goals. He wants the glory. Bale wants the goals. He wants the glory. And it's the same story with Benzema. But it's one of those things where sometimes you have to put your personal ego aside and do what's better for the team. It's why FC Barcelona has a 39-match unbeaten streak. Because they are the most unselfish team in the world. And because their positioning is reflective of that. You can trust Barcelona's players to always be in the right position at the right time because they trust one another. They know it really, in soccer, possession means nothing without position. And you're going to hold the possession if you're a team like Barcelona for a very significant period of time. But if you don't have your players in the right position, that possession means nothing. Now, Barcelona always has their players in the right position because they all trust each other. They practice it. They preach it. And it, it just extends to the pitch. And I think we're going to see, as we all reasonably expect, a massive Barcelona win here. Picking up a 13-point lead over Real Madrid would just be so demoralizing for that club right now because... As it is, they're going to walk away another season without any major trophies. And at the Bernabeu, that's really something to the fans that's unacceptable. And when you look at the star-studded talent across that team, it's something that's very difficult to configure. But at the same time, it's not difficult to configure because it comes down to that one word I said before, unselfishness. Barca has it, Real Madrid doesn't, and it's the thing that separates the two of them. But in a Clasico Part 2, I do think very highly that we see another Barcelona win. And it was, of course, the international break last week, and so both clubs coming into this one with a little bit more rest. Sergio Ramos, the captain of Real Madrid, the key defender for them, he missed some time this week with it resting a back injury, but I think all signs are pointing him to go, but I still... Don't think anything matters. Zidane is going to be out coached by Luis Enrique. It happened against their, in their match against Atletico Madrid. I think that's a big variable that plays into Barcelona's already massive favor. They're home at the Camp Nou. You have the, the emotional significance that this game means. And I think atop more than anything, just the talent on, on Barcelona is better than it is on Real Madrid and the unselfishness is the biggest reason for that I like Barcelona big here I'll take them 3 nothing over Real Madrid and I think we see this just pushing them forward again in their path for another treble and it's one of those things where they've been even better than they were last season because last season they had that first half where it was a struggle to find their identity and to play together but after December, they all they became what they are now, and what they are now is really an unstoppable force. But until the final minute of El Clasico Part Two, Jersey Joe Archino here with the Sports Vault. You can follow me on Twitter for all my thoughts. I'll be, of course, glued to El Clasico at Joe Archino and on Instagram, Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino. And I'll see everybody next time.